about okay online class in the first session of the Gada. So today is Thursday, September 9, 2021. Okay, so nice to meet all of you once again, everyone. And are you ready for our online class okay today as well? Of course, right. So yeah, um so for today in the first session we are going to continue our very good our grammar lesson of the Gada. Okay. Unit 3 simple present the verb be okay so is you know, she is a dancer okay everyone so last time we had already finished um you know one part of this lesson okay and teacher also provided you the form as well as the example all right of the simple present of the verb be okay do you still remember so yeah before we start our lesson um you know today let us review a little bit of what we actually learned okay yesterday regarding our grammar okay lesson yeah so we learned about the simple present of the verb be so we use with the verb be which are m is r okay everyone and do you still remember for subject i we use with to be we are going to use with to be m and subject he she it we use with to be is well um for subject you we they we use with to be are all right so and teacher also provided you the positive form of the simple present with the verb be which we have subject plus verb okay to be and we have the object all right do you still remember everyone mm -hmm. yes yeah, so for example like i wrote it down here like i am a teacher so i here is the subject and am here is to be and okay a teacher is the object so you can see that it follow this form right it is the affirmative form or we call positive form of the simple present with the verb be and one more uh, and again i don't want you to be confused between a uh, simple present and simple present with the verb be for simple present that we use auxiliary verb it is different okay uh, for what we learned so far before we have subject plus verb right and then we have the object right like i um, speak english so it also the present simple but we don't use um you know the verb be but this time we learn about the simple present but we use with the verb be which are m is r uh-huh okay and you can look at another example like we are friends you see so we here is the subject r is to, to be and friends here is the object uh, because we cannot you cannot say we is friends okay or we am friend but we are friends okay and yeah the last example my mother is so kind right so we have my mother okay and she is the singular subject right my mother represents subject she that's why we use it to be is uh-huh so teacher hope you still remember what we learned in the previous session i just try to recap what we learned so far okay about the simple present of the verb be in the previous session now let us continue our lesson all together so today for our uh, first session we are going to have a look at the negative form of the simple present with the verb to be and last time like i mentioned uh, okay a lot we had already finished the um, you know positive form or affirmative form of the simple present of the verb be and today we will move to the negative form okay of the simple present okay that used with the verb to be okay everyone and you can look at the form of the gada so yeah we still have the subject like in this positive form in front of the verb to be but just um you know ready for negative right ne negative form we have not so for this time you need to remember that for okay you cannot put not in front of the verb like subject plus not plus verb no okay we have subject plus verb to be and then we have not and then we have object okay and you still remember right for the verb to be we have am is a uh, okay again and again i keep reminding you and you need to remember that for the full form like to be for example you use word subject she and then use is and you plus not so it is is not or you can write isn't which is the short form of is not and another one is are not is also the same aren't all right so it is the short form of are not you can write in a short form like this okay everyone okay do you understand and yeah we have a look at example together she is not lazy you see we have subject she and we have to be and then we plus not okay and then we have um you know adjective lazy here right so she is not lazy and if you have a look at the second example my friends are not doctors all right everyone or you can write my friend and you can write another form and a short form of i know like and doctors it's the same so yeah we have subject okay my friends and we have r okay it's followed with the rule and then plus not and doctors another one it is not smart okay so we have it we have to be is because subject he she it we use it to be is 
I we use with to be am and are you would have used with to be are that's why here it we use with to be is and then we have not and then we have the object okay and at the last example you are not my girlfriend or you can write you aren't my girlfriend like this one it is not smart or you can write it isn't it isn't smart uh-huh the same yeah so you are not my girlfriend here you is a subject and yeah we use it to be are because you know already you be there we use it to be are that's why you cannot put you is you um you is or you am but you are and then you have not okay according to the rule and then we have the object that's all about the you know negative form of the simple present with the verb to be and which i hope you understand okay this um you know part okay and try to memorize the form okay of the simple present with the verb be that we learned so yesterday we learned about the positive form and today we learned about the negative form of the simple present with the verb to be and okay don't forget to practice this, your homework okay now to understand more about okay this lesson yeah thank you everyone so that's all of our first session of today class and please enjoy your break all together and see you once again bye bye